Uh, welcome, everyone. Thank you for uh, joining me today. I was uh, curious uh, how much people will be enthusiastic uh, yeah, about uh, Fridos. Yeah. But I guess you already heard uh, too many talks uh, about uh, containers and uh, AI, so maybe you want to uh, see something completely different. <laughs> Okay, so let me introduce myself. Uh, I am Lukáš Kutek. I work as a uh, software quality engineer in uh, Red Hat. Uh, in my team, we are focused to uh, KVM yeah, and so on. And let's jump uh, into it. So uh, why care about uh, Freedos in 2024? Yeah, well, my goal was uh, to reach some, I call it, distraction-free environment, yeah, where you can focus, for example, for text writing to a single task. And, you know, you just can't execute multiple tasks on a single task operating system. So, yeah, it's quite simple with, uh, with uh, Freedos. I also like to uh, jump into some legacy programming, like the uh, ancient versions of uh, C, like the, like the uh, Kerning name and uh, Richie one. And of course, uh, some uh, some ancient uh, gaming like uh, like Doom. And uh, by this, I guess I shortly summarize uh, what is uh, Freedos uh, used for. Yeah, it's a, a system to run uh, legacy software, legacy gaming, and uh, so on. So. At first, a few words uh, about uh, Freedos. Uh, just let me clarify: I am not affiliated uh, in a. Uh, Freedo, with Fridos in any way. I'm just a regular user. Yeah, this is actually just my hobby activity. Yeah. So actually, Fridos is being developed since 1994. I think that the original motivation was an announcement by Microsoft that there is no intention to, for further development of a DOS, like a standalone uh, product. So I guess this was the original uh, motivation. Uh, Fridos author Jim Hall is actually still very active leader of the project. He's uh, like an incredible guy. You can uh, read a bunch of articles. He's still uh, writing. Yeah. He is doing YouTube videos. So, for example, you can find a tutorial he prepared about uh, how to set up uh, your uh, environment for C coding on Fridos with uh, examples of code. Yeah. Recently, he did, for example, some cool demo with, uh, if you know, Battlestar Galactica with the silent, silent eye yeah, moving, yeah, written in C on Fridos. It was kind of cool. So, Fridos, yeah, it is open source uh, project and there are also some other benefits of the project like uh, uh, networking works almost out, out of the box, yeah, there is embedded uh, uh, mouse support, yeah, there is a support of FAT32 uh, 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 file system, not only FAT16. And uh, there is something uh, like uh, software slash uh, package manager, something uh, let's say similar to what we know from uh, from uh, uh, Linux. One important thing, I'm talking about Freedos. It's not just about the operating system. Uh, when you install Freedos, uh, you can use uh, the main CD or the bonus CD and it includes a collection of a free software which is which been distributed together with the Freedos. Yeah, so it's not limited to an operating system only. Okay. Another question, where to run Fridos? Yeah, you can run it on bare metal hardware. Yeah, you can buy some uh, old uh, PC with uh, uh, 486 CPU, but there is a problem with the newer hardware, yeah, as the newer hardware doesn't have a BIOS or some uh, legacy option here. Yeah. It's, uh, it's currently not that common, like for example, five or 10 years ago. And of course, uh, there, are, there, is a, there are missing drivers. Yeah, which is kind of, of course, a problem, yeah. Maybe you can think about single board computers like Raspberry Pi, but DOS, yeah, it's x86 uh, only, yeah, and uh, it will be never changed, yeah. So, it's kind of a problem. And uh, yes, there is a new retro hardware. Uh, I guess uh, you can recognize Book 8088. It's like a real project uh, with a uh, uh, real 8088 uh, CPU from 1980s. And it's a new laptop. Uh, uh, I think it's still possible to buy it. And the same story for uh, the Pocket uh, 386. It's a kind of a new project from, the, I think, months or two ago. 
I bought it. I'm waiting for it. I'm, I'm curious what it will be like. So bare metal is one option, but uh, this talk is uh, about uh, uh, QMU, so it will be about uh, how to uh, use it uh, in some virtualized uh, environment. There are other options here apart from QMU. You can try like uh, 86 box, uh, DOSBox, DOSMU2, etc., etc. Uh, let me focus to QMU as uh, it is very close, uh, close to me. So where to run it? I did one more special thing. I created special computer, which is uh, focused only to running legacy uh, software. Yeah. I wanted to play uh, a bit, so I uh, bought uh, Atomic Pi. If you are if you are not familiar with Atomic Pi, it's something roughly like Raspberry Pi, but uh, with the x86 uh, CPU, which is exactly something you need to run uh, to run uh, DOS even virtually. Yeah, some DC converters, some wood, and uh, yeah, I use uh, Fedora like uh, the operating system where I uh, run the QMU. There is actually not much uh, to be said uh, about the Atomic Pi. It's just a regular PC with a regular BIOS by MEI with a kind of regular uh, Atom CPU and yeah, with some annoying bug. Uh, I don't want to talk about the bug, just uh, the bug is easy to be work around uh, on uh, X11, uh, but not on Wayland. So that's the reason why I use a combination of Fedora, X11, uh, i3, and not, uh, for example, Sway. And here comes the QMU. Just uh, can you raise your hands? Who is there anyone who actively use uh, QMU? Okay, okay. So there are other ways. Uh, like you can use uh, QMU. Not only this, you can use, uh, for example, uh, boxes, you can use a uh, virt manager. Uh, I prefer to, uh, you know, to have the control and uh, QMU command line is something uh, which uh, gives me the control. So, uh, you can notice there is a crucial line dash uh, enable uh, KVM. Yeah, it's just critical for performance. If you are about to try uh, uh, FreeDOS uh, on x86 machine, this is well not strictly a must. Uh, but uh, if you like uh, waiting, then drop it. <laughs> Um, you can uh, you can also experiment with the things like uh, uh, which sound card to emulate. Yeah, let's say that uh, DOS standard is something like uh, Sound Blaster 16. So uh, this is something I stick to. Yeah, but you can also do things like enable uh, networking uh, and to what is nice, uh, you can quite easily share data between the free DOS guest uh, and the and the host. Yeah. There are also certain pros and cons uh, of uh, of that. Yeah, like for example, never, like never uh, modify the data uh, in this share folder on the host at the same moment uh, you are running FreeDOS. Yeah, not a good idea. So, and this is this is how how it uh, looks like. But let me show you live uh, live uh, demo. And here we go. Here we go. I told you uh, that uh, there is uh, there is a network support uh, almost out of the box. We can enable it quite uh, uh, quickly, and I can prove to you that it is really working. Yeah. You can also find uh, some web browsers for FreeDOS. I'm not sure if I can recommend uh, uh, to you to really use it, but uh, it uh, exists. And uh, I mentioned that there is the software manager, software manager for FreeDOS. So you can install also some Unix-like uh, utilities on top uh, on the on the FreeDOS system. Uh, one thing, uh, this is not online, yeah? Uh, you have uh, the uh, FreeDOS ISO with a bonus content uh, uh, downloaded just uh, next uh, 
uh, to your uh, to your for example Qkai image, yeah, and basically you are you are you are mounting uh, it, uh, uh, for example, as the uh, drive E, yeah, so it accesses that, yeah. So free DOS installer, yeah, and yeah, I also. I also uh, my, my my motivation was uh, also to play play some ancient games. Yeah, <laughs> sure, it works. It works. Uh, uh, but I don't want to lie lie to you. Uh, I had some uh, performance uh, issues uh, uh, in case of the uh, machine I was talking uh, about uh, before. Yeah. So let's say it's a lot about the single thread uh, performance. In this laptop, there is uh, some uh, Core i7, so there is no problem with performance. Let's say that the Atom I use on my machine I showed before, that's not the case. So yeah, this is this is just uh, working. Yeah, that was one of the one of the goals. Yeah. By the way, this is legal copy. I bought it uh, using uh, good old games. It's a just cool resource of uh, ancient uh, games. I can re recommend that. And oh, sorry. What did I? Ah, and yeah. So that was a that was a live uh, demo. And we are almost at the end, yeah. Uh, I also had to resolve some specific stuff, yeah. I'm not used to because, you know, uh, DOS uh, is actually not something uh, I really encountered when I was at the elementary uh, school. I mean, yeah, 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 I used some DOS application, yeah, but uh, not in real, uh, like DOS only environment, yeah. So I had to learn a lot about uh, 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 DOS, yeah. And uh, for example, how to set up a check, or you can replace it with any other uh, national environment. Yeah, um, it wasn't uh, that straightforward to me. Now it is, but I had to learn. I need to do like these steps to have the code page set properly and the keyboard set properly. Uh, let's say the keyboard part is quite easy. Just the, the the rest was for me a bit unexpected. Okay, so conclusion. Pros and cons. Uh, well, I would say for both pros and cons, it is DOS. <laughs> uh, it is a DOS uh, compatible uh, system, yeah, open source impl implementation with uh, all the positive or and the negative uh, things, yeah. So no nothing like uh, journal support in case of file system. Yeah, I was able to damage damage that. Yeah, and uh, it's quite funny if you write some program in C. Yeah, and it allows you to touch anything. Yeah, so you can kill your operating system within within a second, but you can boot it within next five seconds. Yeah, so it it's not that big deal like in case of modern operating systems. Well. If you are if you are interested only about gaming, I would probably say DOSBox is just uh, easy 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 way how to how to how to go how to go for this uh, target. Yeah, but sure, I like the free DOS way. And my plans for the future, I plan to do some uh, automation using uh, key, QMP, uh, which is a pro uh, JSON-based uh, protocol you can uh, communicate uh, between uh, uh, QMU uh, uh, machine, yeah, actually uh, it means uh, QMU machine protocol, yeah, uh, so you can do a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, magic around, around, around that, and uh, because we are talking about QMU, you can emulate a lot of things, for example, LPT yeah, a port. So uh, I plan to uh, somehow manage to uh, do a printing using CAP. So I will print, uh, press the print uh, uh, key, and uh, I need to do some scripting on Python on the host here to manage that. That's it. That's it. Thank you for attention. Hey. I, I. Oh, I'm not good. Uh, the question was uh, if there is any modern, any modern usage. Uh, well, there is uh, there is a community which actually still develops some uh, new uh, new software or ports uh, some software uh, to uh, Fredos. So 
something is happening here. I'm, I, but I think that the real use case is uh, to run uh, to run the legacy legacy software. Yeah, uh, I can think. I'm, I can think about maybe maybe somewhere in industry where it's when it's necessary to replace uh, replace something old. But I can I can only guess. I'm not an expert here, to be honest. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh yeah. Can you imagine that? <laughs> Since I started talking, uh, I would like to point out that uh, the recent versions of DOSBox are pretty buggy because they did some changes to run better in snaps and they oh. messed a lot of stuff up. So Ooh. be careful with that. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you for the information. <laughs> I, do have, uh, I do have a question actually because I, I grew up playing uh, DOS games. Uh, have you tried running Windows 3.11 on it? No, on no, no. DOS? No, I have, I haven't, I haven't tried. Specs? And have you done a benchmark comparing uh, how much uh, performance do you lose uh, using emulation compared to bare metal? Uh, actually, a lot. A, a lot. Uh, I am. I am experimenting with uh, how to improve the performance. Uh, I'm not quite happy with the results. Sure, if you enable KVM, it's like uh, uh, a lot better than without it. Like uncomparable. Yeah. But still, there is some uh, big performance gap compared to to bare metal. I don't have special benchmarks, but for example, the file system operations are quite slow. Sorry. Sorry. I'm. I know. I know. I'm. Running, I already run out of time, so I guess it was the last question. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure, I'd be glad to. Good job. <laughs>